Hey guys, so it's time for my workstation tour for 2015. And as usual, I just like to say my little disclaimer that yes, I have a ton of stuff, but I'm an adult and I have a job and therefore I can buy things. And really, I think you can buy whatever you want. If you, like if you really want something, you'll find a way to save the money for it unless it's something ridiculous. But you know, I've had several years to accumulate all this stuff. I'm by no means rich or anything, but yes, I'm just an adult with a job. So <laughs> moving on to the workstation. It's changed a bit, well quite a bit actually, since last year. Um, I'm in a new apartment for one thing. So my desk is actually in a reverse configuration. If you watch my old workstation video, it was set up differently. So actually that back piece was on this side and it was turned around. Like yeah, you, you'll see it's, it's pretty much in the reverse configuration because it comes apart. My desk has three sections. You got this piece, this piece and this piece actually is kind of four. The big hutch on top is a fourth piece and I got it from Source Office Furnishings. It's a place here in BC. I'm not sure if they have stores other places, but I'm sure there's quite a few places that carry desks like this. So it's a big beast and I freaking love it. Oh, and another note, this is the kitchen right here. And so this is the dining room, but it's actually my little work area because my desk doesn't actually fit in the spare bedroom because of a funny, there's a wall at a funny angle, plus we just want to have a spare bedroom. So the dining room is my desk area. It's nice because we have a lot of open windows. And right now the trees are blossoming, which is so pretty. Just look at that. It's a little windy, so it's blowing petals all over the ground, but ugh, it's just so nice. A lot of light and everything. So yeah, there's our little deck. It's cool, it's nice. It's bright and open, ugh. Yes, anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna go through everything. I'm gonna open every drawer, show you all my art supplies and everything. So I'll start on this side and work my way around. So starting on this side, I actually have some stuff on the floor because I'm gonna do a haul video, so I haven't actually put it all away yet. Most of it is markers for my Copic Alternatives video, which will be up on my channel in, in a while. I haven't received all the markers, plus I need time to test them all out, so yeah, and then there's just some other stuff I bought for myself that will be in the hall, so be on the lookout for that. I have this carpet here. It's a little rug that's covering my ethernet cable, which runs down and then is over there because I like to be wired in to get the fastest internet possible. And then on this wall here, it's a lot of Frozen stuff. I swear, I'm, like, I mean, I, I really love Frozen, but I'm, it's not my favorite movie. You might think that looking at this, but anyway, I have this Elsa poster that I bought is just so pretty. I actually prefer Anna over Elsa, but they didn't have a nice Anna poster, so got Elsa. I've got this Link poster that I bought at an artist alley at a convention. We have Cora also from an artist alley. This is my Frozen calendar that I got for Christmas. And then these are some prints from Saku M. So we have Anna, Elsa, and Ariel. Now over to the desk itself. Down here is my computer. It's a custom built one, so I can't say specifically what computer it is. I got it built a couple years ago, so I really like it. It's a nice beast. Got a YouTube sticker on there that I got at this YouTube event I went to here in Vancouver. And I just have like a speaker, got memory cards. Yeah, earbuds, not all that exciting. And it's just sitting on a little stand that came with the desk because you're not supposed to put computers directly on the carpet. Christian, I see that. <laughs> Anyway, uh, then we have my Cintiq. It's a Cintiq 22 HD. Oh, I've been meaning to take this off. Anyway, this is my Cintiq. It is very pretty and I really like it. And it's amazing to have. And once you go dual monitors, you never go back. Like, ugh, ugh, yes, it's pretty. And on the back of it, I have this Ergotron arm. This is not the stand that comes with the Cintiq. I wanted one that I could pull out and angle and all that stuff, so as you can see it's bent right now, it's not fully extended. I can pull this over off my desk, if I had two arms this would be a little easier <laughs> to show you guys, but it lets me angle up the screen like this. Um, I did add an extension, normally this arm comes with two pieces, but I added a third so that I could pull it off my desk, because my desk is really long and I can't clamp it to the side of my desk because there's no lip here. So I have it there. And another option is to drill holes in your desk, but I just I just wanted to clamp it off the back since there is a lip there. And yeah, it's so handy. It just lets you tilt it however you want. Like you could even turn this up. Okay, this is really bad camera angle. <laughs> 
You could turn it up so it's facing like that. Just the possibilities are endless. Oh no, I went into precision mode. Oh my god, I can never remember how to get out of precision mode. Whatever, just leave that. The screen just looks dim is all. <laughs> so anyway, really versatile and sometimes I like it to be angled straight up like that so it's easier to see. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The arm is very handy. Then I have my monitor over Hey, you've gone incognito. What have I done to everything here? <laughs> I don't know what I pressed, but it screwed everything up. Anyway, here's my monitor, just a Samsung monitor, and here's my webcam for things like Skyping or live streams, regular old keyboard. Here's the pen for my Surface Pro. Here's the pen for my Cintiq. This is the charger for the camera I'm currently using, and I just powered off my monitor. Wow, wow, this is going great so far. <laughs> here's my microphone that I use for doing voiceovers, and again, for live streaming, that's the cable for it. There's my Blu-ray player, since my computer doesn't have one built in, because I just didn't have the money for it at the time. And a remote for TV, which is not even over here right now. And my big lights. If you want to know more about my camera setup, I do have a camera setup video, and it's linked in the video description of all my videos towards the bottom. So it's got a little tripod, and a light, and an umbrella, and it's lovely for getting good lighting. And I do pull it over closer to my artwork when I'm filming a video, but it just stays set up there all the time because it's a bit of a pain to take down the lights. I do have another one where I did take the umbrella off, although I often do leave the umbrella on that one as well. I think I'm actually gonna show the chair next so I can get it out of the way. I got it at Staples. It was half off. It was like $99 or something. So that's my chair. Now let's get it out of the way. Over here I have my Copic storage case. It's actually made of foam board that I bought at a dollar store and I just cut pieces of foam board and glued them together to make this. I might get an actual storage system in the future, something nice, maybe made of wood or plywood or something. I, I don't know, something a little fancier, but for now I think this works great. So I've got all my Copics and refills in there, except for some Copics that I just bought that are in my haul over there, but yeah. I don't want to put those in here until I do the haul. Um, we have a couple pencils. These are the Prismacolor Call Erase pencils. There's a blue and a red one. Lip gloss, sharpener. Here are all my liners. I've got some Microns here. And then some, I don't know why that's in there. A little other pen. Sharpie. I've got my Jelly Roll here. These are all my Copic liners that aren't black. So that one shouldn't be in there either. <laughs> I did not organize my stuff before I filmed this video. I did clean the desk because this is usually a disaster. If you watch my vlogs, you know what it looks like and I actually considered filming it messy. But then I figured my drawers would look half empty because all the stuff's all over the desk. So, And it just needed a good cleaning because it gets dusty and full of eraser dust and stuff. So gave it a good wipe for this video. Anyway, so yeah, these are the non-black liners. So there's brown, sepia, gray, and warm gray, and then blue. I'm not sure if the official name, if it's like cobalt or something, I don't know. Then the black liners. And then I just have my most used pencils and erasers here. Got my Rotring 600. This is a Caran Dash pencil that I got in the mail from one of my viewers and my eraser. And then my Alt Light, which is very gross because I've taped stuff to it for so many years. And it just lifts up and the light comes on. And I use this for additional lighting in my videos. I actually turn on four lights when I'm filming. Then here we have some tape with the hair stuck to it. Gross! And I just use this to decorate the inside of my planner. And then I have a little notepad just in case I need to write some notes. And then I have some stickers on the side from Holly. He -he. I put my <laughs> the avatar stickers you sent me on the side if you're watching. Hello! <laughs> anyway, let's try to keep this video semi-normal. <laughs> Here's my tripod, which I, that's how I film my videos, is attaching my camera to the tripod and it looks down on this mat. This is a cutting mat from Michaels. It's the Martha Stewart brand and it's just, it's just a nice solid surface. I mean, I could work directly on the desk, but I just like having this surface here in case I get marker or paint or something on it. I think it's better to have it on the mat than directly on the desk. Here's my other Ot light. Have a little Triforce sticker. And this is nice because you can adjust it and everything. And then there's Judy, and there's a button of me, a little sticker. Yeah, it's nice. I really like this light. It's a really nice one. And it's got an easy switch right here. 
And I do feed all my cables down holes in my desk, which is really handy, so there's not too many cables lying around. I mean, there's quite a bit back here, especially because I have an extension cord on there, but uh, yeah, mostly I try to keep it organized by feeding the cables down through the holes. I already mentioned this light. It's the same as that one, but the umbrella is taken off. This is my planner. I use this to plan out what needs to get done what days just to make sure I'm getting my videos out on time, getting Patreon rewards done, anything like that. It's all written in the planner. And then this is my Surface Pro. It's pretty much like a computer that looks like a tablet, but it's a little powerhouse. I bought it so I could edit videos when I'm traveling because it's powerful enough to export pretty well. And uh, I have it here because I actually like to watch stuff while I work and my computer monitor is at a really weird angle so if I'm working here I can just have this propped up and open right next to me so I can watch stuff while I work. Over here I have a little cube drawer system. I got these at Michael's and I love these. I want to get more stuff like this in the future. These are really handy and well built. I, I would recommend waiting till they go on sale for half off. I mean, you could use a 40% off coupon, but they often go on sale for either half off or buy one, get one free, which is pretty much the same thing. So yeah, just don't pay full price for them because they're like 50 bucks full price, but they're really nice. And so up here I have just a bunch of little knickknacks, either things I bought or things that were sent to me in the mail, just a bunch of cute things. And then here's a poster, it's a hit record on TV poster, which is, I don't wanna go into details, you can Google hit record on TV if you wanna know what that is. Eventually I'd like to frame that and hang it up and put pictures on it and like my tickets or when I went to Los Angeles for filming for it and everything, so yeah. We'll eventually do something with that. <laughs> this is also from hit record, this came with my paycheck that they gave me, so. I've got some pictures hanging on the side of this QB. This one was sent to me in the mail. This one someone gave to me at a convention when I was working at my boss's table. And this is from Jelly Bee that she sent me in the mail. So I think I'll go into the drawers now. This top one is a little random. Uh, let's see what's all in here. I've got some different inks. They're white ink. This is actually some mineral stuff. I forget what it's called, but the full bottle is up top. I can show that in a minute. I've got this hole punch that punches round corners into things, although it actually punches a round corner plus a flap. I didn't realize that, so it's meant for photo. Like, in a scrapbook, you can punch this and then you can stick a photo in it because it has a flap. I don't know. You, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but that was not what I meant to buy. And then I bought an actual round corner one, but this one's it doesn't really leave the cleanest edge. I don't know. And it's just a cheap one from Walmart. I probably just need to buy another one. <laughs> Got a little sponge. I have some makeup sponges that I keep for art purposes. This is some charcoal. We've got buttons. We've got this. This has my dip pens in it as well as an X-Acto knife. Got some double-sided tape. This is really noisy, so I'm just going to actually set that down there. This, I think, is pretty much empty right now. It's just got random little bits of broken jewelry. A little chamois. We've got a stamp. This is nice for doing background effects on my drawings, and you can even dip it into alcohol and then stamp on top of Copics, and it makes a cool effect. I've got some vine charcoal that I needed for this one class, and I've never used it since. Some Velcro. Uh, these are just jewelry tools, tools for making jewelry, like little pliers and stuff. And more Velcro, more charcoal, a, some little uh, notepads, more charcoal sticks, and some embroidery thread. Then in this drawer, this is my colorful drawer. I just get so happy when I open it because it's so bright and rainbowy and oh! So, let's go through this. These are my Norris Club pencils that I like to use for outlining my drawings. I don't know if I like them that much, but I just have them, so I use them. Uh, I got these PBO watercolors, and then I have a couple palettes under there. Then I have some fabric markers from my shoe video. So I have three packs of fabric markers. This is a little travel watercolor kit. I haven't really used it much. It comes with a little palette and then you have watercolors here. And what I really like about this is it has one of those water pens where you fill this with water and then you don't have to dip your pen in water. It just has water in it. So that's why it's a travel set. 
here are my Spica glitter pens, which I kind of forgot existed. And I've been meaning to get a clear one so I can add glitter to more things. And jewelry findings. Here I have some metallic pencils, again, sent to me by a viewer, so thank you. And then these Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liners, which I've been using recently. And then my Prismacolor Scholar pencils. So that is it for my little rainbow drawer. Then in the bottom drawer, I have this, which has some of the pencils and erasers and pens that I use a little more often. I mean, I tend to keep my favorites up there, but this is just easily accessible, I guess. Plus, I didn't have room for everything. I have another little storage container I'll show in a second for pencils and pens, and it's full. So this is just, just more stuff. I've got like an electric eraser and sharpeners, eraser, you get the idea. And then I have this forget what's in here okay we have some colored lead refills for mechanical pencils I've got replacement nibs for not this tablet pen but a bamboo I have a bamboo tablet that I bring to work like I just leave it at work and these are my replacement nibs I've got a, an extra needed oh god I need to take this out <laughs> my needed eraser is disgusting right now so yeah let's take that out because I need a new one and I've got spare nibs for my G pen and for my other pen, I think. I've got spare blades for my X Acto knife and lids. It's kind of like a little refill pocket. Then on this side, I have refill cartridges for some of my Copic multi liners. So there's a sepia one and a black one. I think there's a couple of sepia ones in there. That's it for that pouch. And then I have a similar pouch that has more drawing stuff in it. I actually would take this to school back when I um, went to school for animation. I did have a few drawing classes, but not really many. So I really only use this for a short while, but I've got my Stedler pencils. I forgot these were in here. I have so much stuff, I just forget it exists and it gets neglected. I need to use this more. Ugh, I've got some Sharpies in here, more colored lead refills and normal refills. Here I have some blending stumps, an eraser, a little ruler paper clip yeah this is just kind of nice for taking on the go and then down here I have a couple of little sketchbooks I don't think I've used them yet I might have drawn like one thing in one of them and that's it I just have a lot of sketchbooks that I need to fill up so that's it for this little cube of drawers and then I have some paint brushes that I keep in this cup I've got this. I got this at a souvenir shop somewhere here in Vancouver and it's just got some keychains in it that I made. Um, I have this wall of drawings and stuff. So some of it is stuff that was sent to me. Well, a lot of it is stuff that was sent to me from you guys. So I've got this little crane. I've got my face stickers for football games. Yeah. Some buttons that I've purchased at conventions, things like that. Got a little keychain and pictures and this is from Sequims and this is from... Miss Carrie J, and this is from Art by Karen e. Haley, and this is from Charlotte Lucy Illustration. That was from Sandeep, as was this. There's Christian, more buttons, laundry card, woohoo. Here's my little book that I got when I went to Wicked, because Wicked came here to Vancouver. Just a really nice book. Yeah, just a nice keepsake if you're a Wicked fan. So there's that. Oh no, this fell down or something. This is my sister's graduation picture. This I bought from someone who goes by Pencil Butter. I ordered it from her because it was just this gorgeous mermaid book. So yeah, it's a moleskin notebook. And I just thought it was so beautiful I had to buy it from her. I haven't used it yet, but I think I will eventually someday. <laughs> Another little box I got at a souvenir shop. It's got my old memory cards that are like two gigabytes each um some flash drives this is actually an adapter i've got my little buttons that jelly bee sent me i haven't used these yet because i'm so undecided it's what i want to use them for i've got like my rough rider loony i have a 50 cent coin i can't remember where i got that i think it was just in my wallet one day and i was like what the heck a 50 cent coin <laughs> my blood donor pin. I forgot I had that. I knew I had this. I use this as my zipper pull on my old jacket. Anyway, cool. 
that is that stuff. This video is going to be forever long. I apologize. <laughs> but they're interesting. I like workstation videos. Up here. Okay, let's not pull this. Random things. I've got some bookmarks. I've got Society6 stickers. Random notes. My sister when she was really little. Pikachu vest. Oh, yes. Pens. And I think these are over here because the ink wasn't flowing nicely or something out of them. So I put them over here so I wouldn't accidentally grab them when I'm working. A little flashlight. Yada yada. I think you guys can tell I'm from Saskatchewan even though I'm living in BC right now. And pins for my pin board back here. Here are just a bunch of erasers and then random things like my Poke Walker, which is dead. And yep, pictures of that. <laughs> Moving on. Pens. Pencils. And then this is random papers like either credit card statements or like things that have yet to be sorted because it, it has a place but I just haven't done it yet. Pen pal letter, my Copic charts, the picture from Sandeep which I already mentioned, sticker from the YouTube thingy I went to, and up here this is a little stationary box. I won it at an auction that we had at my family reunion and I think it's really pretty. Back here I have these pictures from Art by Karen e. Haley. I just took these down actually off the wall because I redid my walls and I'm not sure where I want to put these yet and I'm thinking of painting the frames white since all my other frames are white. So they're just back here till I figure out what I want to do with them. And then I have a brush which I use for sweeping off eraser dust. It's also nice to sweep off my scanner with. And then over on the side I have some little placemats. I have one that's Brave, there we go, Merida from Brave, and then Frozen one, woohoo, and then this is just a poster from a movie that I worked on at work called Pixies, and we took down the posters, and I picked one, because my boss said we could take them home, so I chose the Pixie King, and he's just chilling there. Then we have more drawers, so this one, it's got more blending stumps. <laughs> We have glue sticks, we have rulers, sponge brush, different sized hole punches. I have, wait a minute, oh, I forgot I bought a butterfly one. I have two sizes of circular ones, and then I have a butterfly hole punch. <sighs> the things you forget you have. <laughs> more glue, more microns, more Stedler pencils, refills for my eraser, notepad. These are like charcoal and Conte pencils. Yeah, stuff like that. And I think a grease pencil was in there as well. Oh, let's put this back. Wait a minute, what? I don't remember this being empty. I did rearrange all my drawers about two months ago-ish. Maybe a bit more than that. It might've been before Christmas, I don't remember, but I forgot, I, I emptied out this drawer. I gotta decide what I wanna put in there. Hmm. Then we have this one, which is full of beading supplies. This is what used to be down in this drawer. So, kind of some work in progress stuff here. Like I've got, this is actually done. It's something you can pin in your hair. A bunch of seashells that I actually picked up off the beach myself and then painted with some pearl paint. Oh, I was really into this for a while, but then just kind of ran out of time when I got a job whole bunch of beads like so many beading supplies it's ridiculous I decided I really wanted to get into beading stuff but then again I just like once I got my job I was just way too busy whole bunch of pretty beads and paints oh so pretty then next drawer I have again rulers I have some stencils here just different letters I really don't use these at all. <laughs> I think I bought them for scrapbooking purposes and then I just stopped scrapbooking but uh, yeah I got a circular one which is kind of handy. My French curves or whatever they're called. Rubik's cubes don't belong here but that's okay. Another one of these because apparently they're everywhere. Rulers. These are paints that are meant for glass and things like that and you can bake it and then you have like a decorated cup or a decorated plate and one thing of acrylic paint that's actually supposed to be down there but I was using it to paint the the frame around the link poster which is why this brush is also here 
so that is it for the top of my desk I think I'll move down to underneath okay I mentioned the computer I have an ottoman here with a blanket and it actually opens up I don't have a whole lot in there I've got the box for my bell figurine and then in the other box there is some acrylic paints power bar <laughs> Here's my printer and my light box. I don't know the brand of this light box, by the way, but that is it. Garbage can, got my sewing machine, and then this has a bunch of thread and just different sewing tools that you might need. Then here's another tripod because the camera I bought came with the tripod for free, so, okay, second tripod. <laughs> my sketchbook, I have this box here which has a bunch of video game stuff in it for my DS and my live streaming equipment just so it's readily available for when I do my Friday live streams on Twitch. Here, this is just, I don't know, <laughs> every drawer is a random drawer I guess. Got like earbud pieces, pennies because pennies were discontinued in Canada. Some of my bookmarks, oh because I think I got rid of my bookmarks but I kept one of each. I might still have the old ones but I wanted to keep one of each of my old bookmarks just for <laughs> memories transit passes sticky notes refills for my electric eraser i think i have like one or two stamps left in the stamp book some paint swatches that i haven't decided what i want to do with them yet a lighter for lighting candles lip gloss lip gloss, little rocks with cool designs on them <laughs> containers that are now empty yeah another rough rider lenny woohoo in this middle drawer, I mostly use it for printer paper, but I'm actually out. I have like, oh, I have one sheet left. And then these, this is a different, it's a like big paper folded in half. And I also have some Hello Kitty loose leaf. It's very cute. Here's kind of a sample of the patterns. And what else is there? Oh, more of that paper that's folded in half. I don't know, I have like one sheet of paper left. I really need to go buy some more. This drawer has my marker papers in it. So I, I keep little swatches that just so I can, if I want to test out a Copic color, I can just pull out a scrap piece of paper to color on instead of ruining a fresh sheet. Uh, I finally found this. This was lost forever. My three marker challenge picture. And just, yeah, just different papers. I do have a bit of watercolor paper in here because I was testing it the other day. I've got some scrap papers that I just sometimes put underneath my artwork and then I have my Express It blending card and then at the very bottom my Copic marker pad paper. I hate that paper, it's not very good for doing layering and blending and stuff. So that is that for those drawers. Over here, this is actually my little mail packaging drawer. My online store is currently closed until I can get it all restocked, which means making a lot of new artwork, so it's going to take a lot of time, but I've got some prints in here as well as, okay, why are these ones just loose in here? Oh, these were my test ones. I was testing different signature options. I've got clear baggies for my small prints. There's a whole bunch here. <laughs> I've got pins that say Bailey on them, like Bailey J stuff is written on the back of them. And some tape, I got this in my stocking for Christmas. I have this scale for weighing packages. Christian got me that for Christmas. Uh, I got some stickers in here, some cardboard, and just foam things, because I, I like to pin my buttons to foam before I package them. And there's a bit of tissue paper. There's a, like half of an envelope. Usually this drawer is a lot more full. It's just stuffed with envelopes and bubble mailers and stuff. But uh, I need to buy more for when my store reopens. So for now, not a whole lot but I just like it. It's all my packaging stuffs. Down here is actually more packaging stuff. I had to buy this stuff for Patreon. I bought a whole schwack of envelopes here. That is all envelopes that will fit my prints. I have some stamps, but I <laughs> underestimated how many I needed to buy, so I'm gonna have to buy a bunch more. <laughs> um, here's more of the Patreon print stuff. These are ones that are already signed and in bags. And then here are some envelopes that are already pre-stuffed with some chipboard just to protect the prints. So I guess I have two shipping drawers now. This one is one of my neglected drawers. We have some Sharpies in here, like little bags that aren't currently in use, magnetic strip, three punch, hole punch. This has syringes in it. They're art syringes. They're blunt and I use them just for art techniques. Uh, that's my stereos remote we have hot glue gun and 
refill glue, little tags for Christmas presents, uh, blank cards. These are my Prismacolor Premier markers. These are the old ones without the brush nibs, although I did get some new ones that have the brush nibs. Woo -woo. Highlighters. And I think this is empty right now. I used to have like all the pencils that I currently have in here used to be in that tin and then pins, some bit of sewing stuff in there. And then right here I have a spare, well not really spare, this is my old mat. It's really beat up and warped, but I use it, if I'm gonna do something messy like working with clay, I'll pull that mat out. Then here on top of these drawers, I have my set of 120 Prismacolor Premier pencils. Down here I have this Copic case. It's quite fancy, it's dirty too, wow. And this is where I keep my airbrush system. And this is also an empty case. I think this was for my anniversary set of Copics. So I've got air cans, I've got a compressor, a little air grip, everything you need for the Copic airbrush system. And then also a little pamphlet about the airbrush system. I picked this up at Michael's. They just had pamphlets sitting there. So I was like, eh, might as well take it. So yeah, I used to keep my markers in here. If you look at my Copic collection video, that's pretty old. I did have my Copics in here, but now I use it for my airbrush. These drawers are now on the opposite side. In my old workstation video, they were on that side of the desk, because like I said, my desk was in a reverse configuration. And I keep it locked because if you unlock it, the drawers open. <laughs> Though they must be on a slant or something. So up here is my little little office drawer. I love this drawer. <laughs> Everything from paper clips to rubber bands, scissors. Yeah, I'm a scissor fiend. I have a bunch of scissors that I've had since I was a little kid. Like, look, there's three pairs of the purple ones. We've got those green ones. Here's another pair. Here's another pair. Here's another pair. Anytime I travel, I bring scissors. I'm actually surprised I don't keep scissors in my purse. And I have more scissors that aren't even in here. <laughs> got a calculator, some whiteouts. Here's one of those syringes I was talking about. It's got uh, rubbing alcohol in it, so I can squirt it onto my Copic drawings for cool effects. This is a glue runner, X-Acto knife, key for my little cash box that I use at conventions, little sticky notes, staples, sharpeners, lip balm, this little timer thing, it's random, it just counts up. Tick, 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 anyway. Little wingle. <laughs> Yeah, lots of cool stuff. A little measuring tape. I've got little tweezers. It's for beading stuff. And then I have little business card holders that I use at conventions. And I also use it when I'm FaceTiming. I can set my phone in here and it holds up my phone. It's very nice. So a couple of those. E6000 glue. This is lipstick. Don't know why that's in here. But it just is. Clamps. Business cards. Another calculator. This is a book that has just passwords that I forget because there's a million things you sign up for and then you forget your passwords and your login information. So that has my info in it. Got a bunch of tape, more glue, more pins for my pin board, uh, gum, some super glue, little staplers. I have two because I actually lost one for a really long time. And this is a great little stapler. As far as little staples go, staplers go, this is the best one I've ever had. It's just a Maped one. These are perler beads. I made a perler bead pink Mario mushroom and my roommate knocked it over ages ago. And <laughs> I just put them all in here and I've never remade it since. Little eraser. Yeah, that is that drawer. Then underneath, I have this scrapbooking case. Like I said, I was really into scrapbooking for a while and I'd like to finish up my scrapbooks, but uh, yeah, it's just one of those things you end up not having time for as time goes on. I have a bunch of photos here waiting bunch of stickers, cute cardstock, like, ugh, eventually I'll get around to it, but yeah, so many cute things. And I used to keep a lot of my art supplies in this. If you go to my old workstation video, I think I still used it. I would have pens sticking out of everywhere. It's a really nice thing to put art supplies in, but right now it's mostly empty aside from the top bit of it. Right here, I think this is just more envelopes. This is my really old phone box that my phone came in ages ago. Mini envelopes and then standard envelopes. This is a case for my camera. It's nice because it's a hard case. It protects it nicely. We have some tape. And then this is just an iPad box. It has a few... Oh no, it's empty now. 
It used to have a few knickknacks in it. Right now it's just empty, but they're in such nice boxes. I don't want to throw them out because you never know when you're going to need it for something. <sighs> I'm getting so out of breath here. <laughs> okay, moving on to the hutch up top. Okay, we have this. This was formerly a makeup case, and now I use it for some shipping supplies. Oh, sorry, that was really loud. So these were just little thank you notes. These are blank ones, but usually I have little thank you notes written on them. My P.O. Box return address, stickers, some customs forms. Although now I can just do all that stuff online, which is pretty nice, but yeah. Then more tape. I have this, which has, don't fall, oh God thought that button press was gonna fall. I have button parts. I actually have a whole bunch more of these in the spare bedroom, but they're just pieces for making buttons. It's just handy to have a small amount of them on my desk for when I'm making buttons. This is the punch for making buttons. It punches out the image. So nice, nice hole punch. Uh, I think that is, uh, whatchamajip, sure, Mod Podge. It's just Mod Podge in a smaller container. Um, I don't want to take everything out here. This is the button press. I have some envelopes. This is a workable fixative. This is the stuff I was talking about that was in the ink drawer. Odorless Terpenoid. I bought it to dissolve uh, colored pencils, pencil crayons. And water for when I'm doing paintings. This is more Mod Podge. Copic Various Ink, just the colorless blender. Triple thick glaze, more Mod Podge. A little measuring cup thingy, Sculpey Bacon Bond. This is this is another glaze. I think I'm. I don't think it's a triple thick, but it's some kind of glaze. And masking tape. Here in the middle, I have some books. Um, I'm not really gonna go through what each one is. If you want, you can read what they are. And I have a whole bunch of Imagine FX magazines because Christian got me a subscription. Thank you, Christian. <laughs> um, candle. Oh, I forgot I had that because Elsa's covering it. These posable mannequins, they never work nicely. Those are a waste of money. <laughs> Here's Elsa and Anna. Uh, let's see what's actually inside of these. Um, oh, these are just some hole punches. And then inside of the one underneath is a bunch of flowers and headbands and things that kind of went along with all this feeding stuff. And this just fell down, but it's Mario fan. Yeah, I'm just making a mess everywhere. A little mini sketchbook. This is my little notebook I use for Patreon notes. This is a hollow book that has a few knickknacks in it. And then just some sketchbooks here. I think I'll actually pull out one. This one's actually a notebook. The rest are sketchbooks. This one's really cool. Um, my dad got it for me. It's a wooden cover and it's got really cool recycled paper inside of it. This is Belle. This is a figurine that Christian got me. Oh, Christian, I need more of these figurines and I need the musical bass for it. If you ever oh, yeah. can't think of what to get me for a, a birthday or something. Yeah, these are so pretty. So gorgeous. Anyway, and then my old cameras, just keep them as backups. They actually shouldn't be sitting here. But they are, and a stray earring. Then on this side, it's just things like, this is where I keep all my important papers, like tax stuff and pay stubs, you know, that boring stuff. This is a thingy I want to use with my airbrush system. It's a stencil and it just looks really pretty and I haven't used it yet. I got it at the dollar store. I've got a little, this is just where you can keep art. Well, I think this one's empty right now, aside from a few things I drew in school. And then my old planner. I should probably just throw it out because I got a new one for this year. Notebook. This is where I keep my Copic pictures that I have, like, or just any pictures really. There's not a whole lot in here because I've sold a lot of my stuff, but um, yeah, this is just the stuff that I either haven't sold yet or don't want to sell or haven't decided if I want to sell it or not. I have a couple frozen coloring books that were sent to me in the mail. I have sticker sheets. This is just like a little clip notepad thingy, another clipboard, some stationery, the cards I made for my tutorial, another sketchbook. Here are some watercolor paints, just these Reeves paints. I've had these since I was 10 years old. Oh my gosh, like I'm 24 now. A little Lori B sketchbook, like it, it's not a sketchbook. I mean like it's called a sketchbook, but she, it's her, you know, these aren't my sketches. I bought it from her. And a little Copic book, my Crayola pencils. I really need to do another Crayola challenge. Oh, Oh yeah, this isn't really supposed to be in here. This is my new masking fluid that I just got. I suppose it could sit there, but 
anyway. <laughs> um, Easy Rider. Why do I even have that? I had that back when I was in university. A frozen book that I got for Christmas. This is where I keep spare ink for my printer as well as in that box back there. I have my iPhone box which is just empty. Like I said, the Apple boxes are really nice so I keep them. This is a paperweight. Very pretty. Another candle. This is a storybook someone sent me in the mail. Um, prints that I used to have hanging up that I no longer do. Piece of cardboard. Cool. Oh yeah, you know, just, just me hanging out with Draco Malfoy. No big deal. No big deal. Now, moving on to the top. I'm gonna actually stand on my chair, so let's hope I don't die. Oh, it's spinning. So I have some animator dolls up here. Some of them have been opened, some of them haven't. I know I was gonna do unboxing videos for all of them, but I think I lost the footage. I need to try to find it, because I recorded some of them. Like, I recorded these three. Well, I might have lost the footage. I recorded it well over a year ago. And I haven't even opened these two, and I have opened that one. Anyway. So, I don't really want to go into detail with all this stuff because this video is long enough. I have a whole bunch of stuff up here. A lot of it is beading and jewelry supplies. Like, this is full of jewelry supplies. That is full of jewelry supplies. This is my electronics sort of drawer. This is a little set of drawers that's actually full of beads because I have beads everywhere. <laughs> yeah, electronics stuff. I have these. These are like jumbo dolls, <laughs> like jumbo Barbie type dolls. They used to sing, but I took their batteries out because it's annoying when they sing. So I have Belle and Rapunzel, because Belle is my favorite Disney princess, and Rapunzel is probably like a close second. And then beading loom that I made based off of a YouTuber's tutorial. I need to take those beads off. I like, haven't made anything in forever. <laughs> and I hate that bracelet. I gotta make it something new. And I have like little wooden blocks. I need to do more of those little wood pictures. Little key rings. These are for making pendants. Got some stretchy cord. More makeup sponges. A bunch of zippers and things I got at Valley Village. More beads. Beads everywhere. So, yeah. And then we have my frozen snow globe, which plays music. And then Loki Hot Toys figurine. Yes. Yes. He's amazing. Oh, my wrist is killing me. This camera is heavy. <laughs> okay. Here is a picture I got framed. I ordered it off Society6, and it's by the artist Slowish, L-O-I-S-H. And the frame's not from Society6. I got the frame from Michaels. Here is my autographed picture from Tom Felton. To Bailey, love Tom Felton. Draco with a heart. Da, da, da. And my Beauty and the Beast poster, which I also recently got framed. You can see I have like a white frame theme going on, which is why I want to repaint those little frames I have back there. Here's a bunch of art books I have. Either art of or art instruction books. Got The Illusion of Life, classic animation book. Got like Zelda, Frozen, Tangled, How to Train Your Dragon 2, Avengers, Avatar The Last Airbender, Legend of Korra, Tiki's Delivery Service, Howl's Moving Castle, Spirited Away, Beauty and the Beast, The Art of Disney Golden Books. Yeah, lots. I don't want to say them all, but just had to list off my faves. <laughs> Pikachu hat from Fan Expo. Same Fan Expo where Tom Felton was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here I have some mm, Strathmore bristle, bristle board. Here's some colored paper that I've been meaning to use with pencils. This I've just been meaning to use with an airbrush system because it's cool. And then I have some masking sheets, like masking, what is it called? I don't know. It's just like masking pieces of masking stuff, plastic stuff. And then I have some screen tones, which I have yet to use, like deleter screen tones for comics. More Bristol board. And this has just got some stencils in it. And then this is to hold 9 by 12 artwork, such as my Kraya picture, which is in there. Here is a jumbo sketchbook that I had to get for this stupid online class I did. It was so pointless. I used like four pages in it. Or three, even. <laughs> um, down here, here's the umbrella for my other light stand. This is for holding large artworks. My slippers, because you know your feetsies get cold. Then, this is, oh my god, what is this called? I knew what, uh, my mind is blanking, but it's like a hard board that I use for things. This is sort of where I keep animation work. I use this more during school, but it would always have animation paper. There's my field guide in there. Right now I think it's just full of some of my animation, like shorter animations or sketches and stuff. 
Um, my old laptop, which is a big old beast, which doesn't run fast at all, so I don't really use it anymore. This is a tabletop easel, so it just sits on your desk and stands up and you can paint. And inside of it is some cheap watercolor paints that I got from, or not watercolor, acrylics that I got from the dollar store. This is where I store a lot of my loose sketches that didn't come from a sketchbook or just they aren't Copic, like not the Copic art I keep in my little books, just, you know, random sketches and things. Then we have this little drawer system, which I was called the trolley. Anyone remember my little anything from the trolley? Actually, I have that original clip. I found it the other day and I'm gonna put it in right now. Anything from the trolley. Anything from the trolley. Moving on. So, I decided to take out a lot of stuff I used to have in, he in here and put in my button containers. So a lot of these aren't buttons, as you can tell, they're just pieces of paper. I really need to restock this badly. I'm going to be doing this for like the full month before my next convention. So more buttons, more buttons, more buttons, buttons. Yep, got through those drawers quickly. Button printed out stuff for my buttons. Yeah. And then down here, okay, this is why I don't recommend this drawer system. If you're thinking, hey, what is that? No, you don't want this. I would get something more sturdy. Like, there's a whole bunch of drawer systems that are in the same family as these guys. And I would eventually like to get some of those because this is really flimsy. The drawers constantly come off the rails. And the bottom ones, because there's so much stuff in them, they just warp and they fall off the rails all the time. So I wouldn't recommend it. More of these, I told you, they're everywhere. These are actually boxes from the lights, from my lights up there. And I just save these little boxes because they might come in handy for shipping something or just, you know, little boxes are handy to have. I've got little sequins and ribbon, uh, magnet sheets, sponges. This is a huge note block. Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. I have so much stuff, I don't even have time to use it. These are from the dollar store, just little sequins. Um, these are for cards. I got them when I ordered some Pokemon cards online a while back. This I think is empty, it's just a pencil case. Some chain. These are plugs for the holes in my desk where I feed my cables through. So those are just chilling in here. That is it for this drawer. In this drawer I have pencil crayons that I've had since a kid really. Uh, refills for my glue runner. White out, glue stick, scissors that cut patterns, double sided glue. This is my Snape wand that I made. It's got a rod in it and then I used polymer clay to make it and it's based off of Snape's wand. A smelly pencil, more colored lead, staples. This used to have a pencil sharpener in it. Yep, little things. This is from a game called Frustration. It's like the game Trouble where you it's like getting into trouble. Uh, so I don't know why I still have this, because <laughs> I don't have the game. <laughs> it might be at my mom's house. No, I think it's long gone. I don't know. Here, it's not chocolates. It's polymer clay. And then sparkles. Yeah, this is mostly empty, except for the sparkles. It came with some jewelry making tools that I took out of there. Then here we have some really old markers that I've had since a kid. And I, I, I always want to throw these out, but I just can't bring myself to, because they all still work. A uh, little notepad, notepad, notepad. These pencils, I've had these forever too since I was really little. Um, this is a little Sumie set. It's like ink you can put in there. Oil pastels and chalk pastels. These and these pencils, I think were in that kit that I got when I was 10 years old. I still have them. <laughs> I've used them, but still have them. Another paint palette, more Sculpey clay. That's it for that drawer. Here is watercolor paper. This drawer, like look at it. It's not even on the rails, it just like falls out. Watercolor paper, some clear sheets. Watercolor paper, watercolor paper, watercolor paper. I think there was some insane deal where if you bought three it was super cheap and that's why I have so many. And then this pad of paper I got for Christmas one year. And drawing paper in this drawer. Oh yeah, Christian's picture. This should be with all my other Copic drawings. I think we were gonna frame it or something for him so he can hang it up or something, but yeah, that really shouldn't be in there. Um, some cardstock. Bristol board. Wait, 
I had two things of Bristol board up here. That's Bristol board. Yeah, what the heck? I thought I had two things of Bristol board. I have three. I think this is the smaller pad and those are both big ones. Huh, didn't know that. How did that happen? <laughs> cardstock, cardstock, cardstock. Everywhere. It's more lined paper. Some deleter paper, more of that Hello Kitty paper too. I forgot I had this deleter paper. Some of it has lines on it. Um, I'm not sure if it'll show up. It's designed so it doesn't show up when scanned. It's really faint blue lines for comic books. More scrap paper. And in the bottom. Oh yeah, down here I have some more prints I took off the walls. And uh, my old frozen calendar. Down here. Some spray paints. I have gold and silver. This is a silicone lubricant power cord for my laptop. This was the Copic, like a little Copic inking set, but it's empty because I took all this stuff out of it. Some receipts from shipping stuff to you guys. A um, bunch more paper clips. And then in here, I just have little Christmassy things. So, got like a little gingerbread cutter, gingerbread ribbon, some beading wire, little pieces you could stick onto things. I got them at the dollar store. There's a little snowman, a little poinsettias, little gingies and Christmas trees and some glitter. Yeah, I like this little case. It's cute. So that is it for this drawer system. Okay, great. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, I think I got everything here. At my drawing workstation. This is probably a super long video, so if you made it this far, congratulations. <laughs> so, like I said, it took me several years to get all this stuff. Plus, I have a job, so that's how I pay for things. So, that is it. Let's have one last look at the trees as we say goodbye. Goodbye, beautiful trees. Goodbye, everybody, and thanks for watching my workstation video. See you in the next video.